Welcome! In this video I'm going to show you how you can create a heat map from a cross table using Python 3 and I'm using JupyterLab. So the idea is to create a heat map similar like this one shown here. I'll scroll all the way back up. This would be my preferred choice for to show a relation between two ordinal variables if they don't have too many options. So for example Likert scales um, this might be something you find also useful. To show you how this is done, I'll need an example and I'll load that using uh, as a pandas data frame. So I'll need pandas and I'll load that as pd. If you've never used pandas before, you can actually install it using pip install pandas with the exclamation sign. I've already installed it and now I only need to load it in. Then I can use the read CSV uh, function from pandas and load the file that I have. Head will show me the first five records. So this gives you a bit of an idea of the data. It was about students answering a survey about a course they had. The fields of interest here are teach motivate, which was how well the teacher was able to motivate the student. And teach link theory was how well the teacher was able to link theory to practice. So those two fields I'll select separately and then I can simply create a cross table using cross step. So there we go. Now as you can see these are not in the correct order. They should range from fully disagree to fully agree. So I'll enter the correct order. They're actually the same fields, so I uh, same value, so I can use the same order for both of them. Uh, this will rearrange the columns and if you do re-index it will rearrange the rows so after this as you can see it now nicely has them in the correct order I also find that neither disagree nor agree seems a little bit long so I'm gonna rename that for both the rows and the columns again to neutral and to do it for the row uh, sorry for the columns you need to add access equals columns so now it looks a little bit smaller everything now to create a heat map we actually simply need to color these cells uh, based on their value and we can use the panda style background gradient for this um, to see different color maps you can choose from uh, here's a link that might be useful it has all the different ones that are available I like red yellow green so I'll use that as my style.background gradient and say that my color mapping is that red, yellow, green. If I do that, I nicely get the colors. So basically that's it. Now sometimes you perhaps want this actually as a plot and then Seaborn might be useful. So I'll import Seaborn again. You might have to install it first. And then you can use uh, the heat map function of Seaborn. Uh, annotate is true because I do want to see the values as well and then the color map and oh sorry I think annotate true actually creates this one otherwise if we set it to false we can see the difference and as you can see I know it was the number so indeed uh, uh, it's about the numbers which I do like to see actually in there so I'll prefer it to true and that's basically it uh, in the appendix I have a self-made function uh, that actually um, just takes the input so I don't have to repeat it every time um, and it can actually simply do all the work for me in one go. I'll leave a link to this Jupyter Notebook in the description of this video. If you're interested you can download it from there and if you have any other comments or suggestions just leave them in the comment section and I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.